Hi everyone, Peter here from Flow High Performance and in this video we will cover the influence of total daily protein intake on body composition. First, let's ensure we understand what protein is. From a dietary standpoint, protein is one of the three primary macronutrients with the others being fat and carbohydrate. These three macronutrients are the fuel sources that we use for energy production. However, protein is a very poor fuel source for energy production, which means it is very limited in its contribution to energy for exercise. Rather, fat and carbohydrate are preferentially used for fuel. So what role does protein play in the body? There are many roles that protein plays, but this would go beyond the scope of this video. However, in terms of body composition, protein provides the raw material to build various cells in the body. Most relevant for lifting enthusiasts and athletes, protein provides the raw material for muscle tissue. So what food sources provide protein for us? Almost all foods contain some amount of protein, with certain foods containing higher or lower concentrations per unit of weight. Some high protein foods include meat, poultry, dairy, eggs, and protein supplementation. However, all foods that we eat contribute to our total daily protein intake, regardless of their source. So even if we don't eat any particularly high protein foods, we may still be getting a reasonable amount of protein each day from other foods like bread, rice, pasta and vegetables. Therefore, to get an idea of how much total daily protein we consume, we need to calculate protein intake from all sources in the diet. Let's now discuss how total daily protein intake influences body composition. We will explore its effects on both muscle mass and body fat. So how does total daily protein influence muscle mass? It is well established that total daily protein intake is the most important consideration regarding protein for body composition. The frequency of protein intake, timing of intake and quality of protein may have some impact on body composition outcomes, but are not nearly as important as the total daily amount. It is quite clear that higher protein diets are superior for gaining muscle mass compared with lower protein diets. We will discuss exactly how much protein should be consumed per day to maximize muscle growth later on in this video. It is quite clear that protein has a significant effect on muscle growth, but does it have any impact on fat? Well, protein doesn't really have any direct impact on fat, but it may have two indirect effects. First is the influence on muscle. If the same total calories are eaten, but more protein is consumed, then this may have favorable effects on muscle growth. By doing so, we may see a greater proportion of our weight gain come from muscle tissue, which means less fat is being accumulated. And the second indirect influence protein can have on fat is the satiety effects. Generally speaking, higher protein intakes appear to be highly satiating, meaning it increases the perception of fullness. This may help the adherence and behavioral side of things, allowing us to maintain a calorie deficit with greater success. So the question is, how much protein should we consume per day to maximize muscle growth? Protein intake is going to depend on each trainee's individual body weight. More specifically, how much muscle they have. So protein intake will be different for a highly muscular lifter who weighs 90 kilos compared with a trainee who weighs 60 kilos. Generally speaking, higher protein intake seem to have a more favorable outcome on muscle size. However, there is a point of diminishing return where high protein intakes beyond a certain point don't really have much of an impact for muscle growth. If we look at this graph, we can see here that as protein intakes become higher, there is less additional benefit for muscle growth. After the point of around 1.5 to 2 grams of protein per kilogram per day, there is not much additional benefit to increasing protein intake beyond this. Furthermore, it becomes practically difficult to consume very high protein intakes, and it also starts to take away from other macronutrients that have benefits for lifting performance. So as a practical recommendation, trainees at a reasonably healthy body fat level should aim to consume around 1.5 to 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day as a minimum. And if it is practically possible, trainees may want to increase protein intake beyond this point up to around 2.5 to 3 grams per kilogram per day, as this may have some additional benefits for body composition outcomes. Thanks for watching and hopefully you got something out of this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already.